Hello viewers, last week on Raxio Hour we featured Thea Somerseth, Myron and Irene Mutuzo Sevume from Diwala, an established technology company based in Norway and Uganda. In the second episode of our three-part series featuring Diwala, learn from Thea and Irene about the technology used at Diwala to enable fast and secure issuance verification of information and how Diwala leverages big data. What's the technology we use and why is it so exciting? We use SSI and blockchain technology to enable this magic that we're talking about. What is SSI there? So SSI is basically um, a system and a movement that wants to ensure that a person can control information about oneself. That makes sure that you can share it wherever you want to. So if you're wanting to go into um, another country or any kind of digital service that you need to enter and that you need to prove documentation about yourself, you have it and you can share it instantly, either to a link or a QR code in any digital format. So basically what we do is that we take all these really complicated and annoying paper problems that you might have and we digitize it and then we make sure that you actually can share it whenever. You don't need to ask for any other organization to get it mm. because you already have it. Yeah. And you may be wondering, how do we use blockchain technology? First of all, what is blockchain technology? A blockchain is often referred to as a distributed unchangeable ledger or database. What does this mean? Mm. Now you find that in many instances, information is often stored in one place mm -hmm. and that puts it at risk. Because should a hacker get access to that one place, it means that they can play around with that information. Mm. What blockchain technology enables is that this information can be stored across multiple places at the same time. Now think about a hacker getting into access to each and every single place. It is very difficult. So at Diwala, the signatures that are added to the different credentials, the signatures that you know, signatures are signed, for example, mm -hmm. on your certificate, on an ID, or the, all this information is protected by blockchain technology. So when someone needs to verify it, they would be able to securely verify it, having the trust and having the confidence that it can't easily be changed. You know what's even more exciting, Ari? Yeah. So what SSI enables on top of this yeah. is making sure that this information is also easy to transfer between different data systems, right? Because even today we have challenges with that. So with SSI, you also build standards in the way this information can move in multiple different places. Yeah. And what's essential with that is that you then can share it with Eve. Yeah. And when we talk about sharing it with Eve, again, back to the SSI that you talk about. Now, information or systems that are based on SSI enable verification of information not to necessarily be dependent on a central database. For example, today, if you are querying certain information, for example, my certificate, my, the information in my certificate is stuck in one place. Mm. So should that database go down, should it for any one time have a, an, a, there's an upgrade and it can't be accessible, it means an employer on the other side cannot be able to verify that information. Mm. What SSI enables is that even if a system is down, even if a database is down, as long as that certificate or that transcript was already issued out, it can always be verifiable. So we have information that will always be accessible to us, always be verifiable whether or not the main database is up or down. That's what SSI is exciting. Key to this is also make sure that the industry can understand this data, right? Because the way we build great services is having information. We yeah. analyze that information and we make sure that we can use big data um, and really drive the economic opportunity forward with insight. If you think about the concept of uh, big data, what companies do today and why they need it is because they want to optimize the service, yeah. right? Or they want to understand you as a customer segment because I want to provide a service to you, yeah. which I currently don't have. So what we do with also the Walla and self-sovereign identity standards is also anonymizing your data, mm -hmm. right? And key to that is basically the, to make sure we can access it, we can understand it, but it's critical for also uh, you to ensure that you can control yeah. who can seize who are you. You yeah. do that with having something called your private key. 
So that's your way of making sure that you can control this information yourself. Yeah. Because as of right now, the only way we can build a great service is to know what you want, yeah. all right? So if we actually on anonymize this data, we will be able to do so and understand the behavioral insights without compromising your privacy. See you in the final episode.